Today marks the official start of Minnesota's construction projects for the season. 246 state roads and bridges will get a facelift in 2016. The estimated cost of the projects are more than a billion dollars. Warm weather is giving crews a head start on the work, but as Reg Chapman reports, Minnesota's Department of Transportation wants to see a bigger investment by the state to ensure that roads are smooth and safe for all. It's time for Minnesotans to head back into the cone zone. Yes, road construction season is here, and MnDOT has lots of projects it hopes to start or complete in 2016. You know, a bulk of the projects we're announcing today um, are really to maintain our existing system. It is really trying to catch up with the uh, deterioration that happens uh, with aging pavements uh, and, uh, and, uh, ref and uh, aging uh, uh, bridges. MnDOT crews and contractors will replace bridges, add new lanes and resurface pavement on roadways all across the state. This year, because of budget concerns, crews will have less work to do than last year. But today we are announcing a 2016 program with 14 fewer projects than last year, spending $70 million less than last year. Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith says our needs continue to outstrip our resources. She and others are urging lawmakers to use money from the state surplus for roads. There's enough there to make a deal. Some of the projects could impact drivers during their commute. Work near 494 and Maple Grove will cut traffic down to two lanes in each direction, and crews will finish replacing some of the oldest bridges in the state on Highway 100 near St. Louis Park in Edina. MnDOT wants a safe construction season and hopes drivers will do their part to help out. Let's give them the room to get their, their work done and work done safely. And just remember that uh, orange cones, no phones. And if you want more information about the road construction projects for 2016, we have a link on our website at WCCO.com.